a compass in clay. Each and every person has been sculpted by others. When we come into this world, we come in unknowing. We are all like clay blocks. Each person who walks into your life takes a little time putting their mark into your mind. I watched an interview with a man, Anderson Cooper, who escaped from North Korea, an extremely hard thing to do. He talked about how he was born and grew up in a con concentration camp. His mother and brother were his only family. Watching the world around him, a cruel place for his situation, made his moral compass go round and round. Each moral compass spins a thousand different directions till it slowly becomes straight, each person taking their time spinning the arrow. Some people's break, some are pointed in more than one direction. Anderson's arrow and t twisted and turned but never broke. He said that when people were beaten in front of him, he felt no compassion. His mother and brother tried to escape multiple times, but being born in the prison, his, his arrow had been pointed in what I thought was the wrong direction. He told the officials what his mother and brother tried to do, and watched them both be executed. They even accused him, but luckily he wasn't killed. He has escaped from the prison now, and he can finally feel emotions for the people th that were left behind, including the dead. He says in the in interview that he is finally evolving from an anvil to a human. The molds left from camp are starting to fade, new indents now taking their place. Opinions and ideas are all sculpted by other people, dented and bruised, and none of them are perfect. All experience makes something different and th take their turn also in sculpting, as the man did when he learned what he did in the perspective of people outside the walls of his prison. Our bodies are affected too, and they are the result of the sculpting, what your, mindse what your mindset does to it. This mindset is the most bendable and easily affected when we are at our weakest, closest to birth. The opinions we keep, they are fully sculpted by the people we trust, and it seems with age it grows harder and harder for the clay to stay bendable and become stiff over time. Indents made from fingers of the past still show up, and at this point the clay has hardened. Even with the people around us, some part of us is completely our own, and I would like to believe that that is the place our soul is. That the reason we are independent is because our soul, the true form of who we are, where no sculpting fingers have touched. I'm not sure what the man who ran away from hell's soul was like at first, but Anderson's actions, wa actions while inside the concentration camp were purely because of sculpting fingers. In no way can you take an action with the use of your soul alone. That is why we are who we are. Why we talk a certain way, look a certain way. All these things are impacts made from the outside world, and where your soul can show, I'm not sure. That is up to you to decide.